Looky. It's the soft cover of Legends Unleashed. Hi, everybody. <clears throat> so, all kinds of crazy going on, but this has already been approved and it's up and selling. And then it wasn't for a little bit, but it's back up and selling. <clears throat> Got more news for you. Oh, by the way, welcome to the Big R's blog of 03102014. Okay, so more news. At long last, the snap for the soft cover has been resolved. Even better news. The hardcover premium version is on its way to the Silver Unicorn Hub. Once I put eyeballs on it, and sure it's good to go, well, we're good to go. So I expect that to happen any day now. Crossing fingers for tomorrow. Oh, there's, there's the lovely Corinne with her natural environment. She, watch, she, she may do something, well, probably not very amazing. She'll probably just type or look at the screen. Yeah, I'm not a lot of music. <laughs> oh, don't you even. As far as doing things. Yeah, she probably won't get up and dance or anything. That's a guarantee. <laughs> we just started some serious planning for the big Denver move. Uh, so they were the cool plan, actually, uh, which will engage the entire gaming community of Denver and the local environs. Hopefully everybody else will be really excited about it, too. In fact, I kind of want to get all of y'all excited about helping us get moved. But, you know, we'll do something cool in response to your support. Uh, one of the best parts of our move, by the way, is the incredibly awesome person and dear friend of ours who is also moving there. In fact, we're planning on getting a place together. I'm speaking of the rising legend that is Ross Watson. He of Dark Heresy, Star Wars, Accursed, and much more fame. So he and I are looking forward to working together with Corinne. And, you know, it's going to be cool. Stay tuned for more! Okay. In the Savage Mojo part of my universe, there's quite a bit going on. Uh, the first of the Continuum editions of the various products is up on Drive Through RPG, and more is coming. Uh, there's been a big discussion about the and the development of the Citroen Continuum, uh, including getting people's feedback and interest on things about rule systems and how to handle translation versus just as is entrance and all that kind of stuff. I'm seriously stoked uh, about the combining of uh, the Omnicosmos stuff uh, with uh, the, that me and Scott Corman and a number of other people developed into the fantastic Suzerain multiverse. So all that's still ongoing. Uh, more Savage Mojo news. Uh, Three Stages Games is specifically representing Savage Mojo at Conquest SAC which is in Central California later this month, near the end of the month. Our own Heidi Levine, along with uh, Savage Mojo writers and creators Curtis and Sarah Leone, will be there. So y'all out in California, enjoy that. It's going to be good stuff. Uh, okay, this weekend we got into another Shine Tar campaign that I've not run in a while, uh, Hometown Heroes. It's a game I specifically created for Samantha, a.k.a. Spawn, uh, for her to play in way back when. Uh, and it's gained quite a life and depth all its own. Heck, uh, she's already retired her first character from it, although she just recently came back. Janessa, the Ava Carr, who uh, reappeared in the previously discussed Days of Crimson and Fire. But now she's got uh, Cora, her druidess, uh, along with her soul bright wolf familiar, Laconia, who, by the way, the wolf holds the rank of corporal in the Rangers. So, uh, story time. Uh, Dwayne and Dana. Uh, our friends from Chattanooga came down, uh, the Coles, uh, and they spent the weekend with us, and Dwayne continued to play his uh, former school mentor teacher turned uh, Grey Lantern operative, uh, Master Farr, uh, uh, who's uh, Eldicar, uh, was a rapier and druid and all this kind of stuff. She was a soul guard. And uh, Dana, who does not often play in my games, uh, but absolutely for some reason just went nuts and had a great time uh, creating this really cool concept. Uh, basically, uh, Professor... Oh, she was awesome. She was. Uh, Jill Roosh. Professor Jill Roosh. Uh, call she, me Rush. Call me Rush. <laughs> she kind of had a little bit on the guy, the, doc, the crazy doctor who went out to study the kaiju in the Pacific Rim, but she went completely in new directions with it. She and I coordinated... So she uh, was playing him as a fawn, uh, not really meant to be in the field, but got stuck in the field, uh, student of the Archmancy stuff. Uh, and then there was Esther playing Netheria, her <laughs> very, very dangerous, very scary, I will pity any GM who ever runs for this woman, uh, her combat mage. There's no other way to put it. She is a combat mage, damn it. Uh, and really good at it. She's the creator of the Lollipop of Doom, where she used applications to link Jet 
with blast and she uses selective and she uh, it's a nightmare anyway and are then, you uh, kidding from a player's Oh hush! Just from, from somebody in the group with her is. Shut awesome. up, you! I'm not. No, no, this is what you're doing. This is what you need to be doing. <laughs> it's Esther Knuckles. Her husband, Michael Knuckles, playing Mark Danatar. Uh, always, he always plays very comical, fun characters. Uh, uh, a uh, an adept uh, who uses a uh, white silver whip and. Uh, this whip isn't a white silver. Um, uh, well, you're right. Actually, no, that's Maggie. I'm getting too But he is wearing a combat whip, or using a combat whip, and also has a arc lance because he's arc fire trained. So you end up sort of accidentally becoming Professor Rush's uh, de facto assistant uh, in a number of things they were doing. Oh, uh, Lee playing Cybelle, the somewhat spacey, very blonde-ish in the in the joke sense. Although she's not blonde, she's brunette, but uh, kind of spacey uh, priestess paladin, uh, who nonetheless just kicks unholy ass, or holy ass, I suppose is a better no, word. No, she kicks unholy ass. Uh, true. And then uh, Sue's playing uh, Sister Gis or <laughs> Sergeant Sister Gislaine, ex nun of the prelacy, uh, combat tactician slash librarian. Yeah, very interesting character. Who was an adept and is now a priestess. Uh, still trying to rectify her original beliefs with her new path. Uh, Corinne playing uh, Brian O'Halloran, one, one more of yet the infinite, almost seeming uh, Hell Halloran clan. There's only thirteen. Well, there were only thirteen of them. Yeah, whatever. Uh, okay, and so. One is dead, and one I'm not allowed to play. Uh, true. So I think I've figured out that that's everybody playing. So they're dealing actually with the same circumstances that happened. At Kanuga. So, those of you played at Kanuga, it's the same storyline, another facility which Professor Rush has been sent with Master Far to hook up with the Rangers of Silverport and deal with that. So, they were dealing with the, the, the Childer with Arc Fire control collars being commanded by Prelacy forces. So, yes, the Prelacy came in controlling Childer. Uh, and now they're in the. Chilling, isn't it? They, they dealt with those. They went into the. That almost sounded like a pun. That might hurt you. Um, they found the underground facility where the stuff's going on. <clears throat> we played first part yesterday. We played second part today. And because of just how long and complex and all the cool role play and everything else, there's going to be a part three where they deal with the finale, and that'll be next weekend. So big, complex game, lots of role play, lots of story, lots of fun. And again, all of these campaigns, all of my campaigns are tied into the official continuity that you guys who are part of the Justice and Life campaign are all part of. So this is all tying in. The JNL games I ran at Kanuga, feeding right into my home games. It's all kinds of cool stuff going on there. So, there we go. That's, that's what's going on uh, with the Rangers of Silverport. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed story time. I hope you enjoyed some of the cool stuff coming with, uh, with uh, the, the, the Shine Tar stuff. Again, I expect to see Legends Unleashed book uh, this week, and hope to get it up and going. Once again, I want to thank you all for your support, and uh, peace out.